In this video, you will learn about cardinality. What is cardinality? The number of unique categories in a variable is called cardinality. For example, cardinality of the variable gender takes two values such as male and female, whereas some variables take more values. And we are going to see how we can find the cardinality of a variable. Let's import pandas as pd. Import pandas as pd. Import numpy as np i'm going to make one variable df now i'm going to read a csv file and save it i will call pd dot read csv and inside this i will pass my csv file name flights dot csv let us look at the head of a data frame i will write df dot head and here in the output you can see this is our data frame here and we have columns such as the year, month, day, departure time, departure delay, and etc. And we also have some categorical variables. We have career, tail number, flight, origin, destination, and so on. First, we are going to split this data frame into categorical and numerical variable. I am going to make one variable and in that variable, I will save only the categorical variable from this data frame. Now first let us look at what are the categorical variables and to check that we will use the method dtypes. I will write df.dtypes and here in the output you can see we got the data types for each variable and we have data types such as integer 64, float 64 and object. All the variables having this data type objects are categorical variable and we are going to separate these categorical variables in a new data frame so that we can apply the cardinality function or to test it. Now I'm going to make one variable df underscore object. Then I will call df and from this I will call the method select underscore d types. We want to get all the variables having the data type objects. I will pass one parameter include is equal to then the data type that is this one i'll copy this from here and paste it here now let us look at this head of this new data frame df underscore object and we can see that we have only the categorical variables in this data set and now we are going to find the cardinality that is we will check which variables are having more number of categories and to check that we will import the matplotlib library because we are going to plot it. I will write import matplotlib dot pyplot as pld. Now I'm going to call this df underscore object data frame. Then I will call n unique function n unique. This will give us the unique value for each category and then we will plot those unique categories and we will make a bar plot and in bar plot we will also define the size of the bar plot and to define the size we will use the parameter figure size fig size and then this let's say it will be 12 by 6 you can change the dimension here then we will make the y label and in y label we will have the number of unique categories number of unique categories then we will make x label in x label we will have our variable all the variables or variables then we will have this title plt dot title and our title will be let's say cardinality check and then we will plot it plt dot show and now here in the output you can see we got a nice bar plot here now we can clearly see that the variable tail number this variable you can see here tail number has highest cardinality followed by the variable destination while the variable carrier and the origin they have very less unique values and when you have a very high cardinality then you will have to 
trade that variable before you pass it to the machine learning model because high cardinality will not give you the accurate predictions so you need to first check which variables is which variables are having high cardinality then you have to treat those variables because you cannot pass this variable as raw these are having a lot of categories and we can also check in terms of numbers we have seen this by looking at this plot and we can also check the numbers and for that i will call it df underscore object dot n unique and here in the output you can see for tail number we are having 3022 unique categories and here also you can see the bar plot for tail number is extremely high it is close to here 3000 about uh, about 3000 then followed by destination and you can see here in this output destination is having category 71 and the other variables like carrier and uh, the origin they are having a very small number of unique categories a carrier is having only 11 and origin is having only two this is how you can check cardinality in your categorical variables and then you can treat it i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching